Facebook lang. Facebook. IG. Okay, we are live on both Facebook and IG. Gusto ko lang kung magpasalamat. I have been reading your comments. I have been reading the words of support that you have been giving me. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Kasi it means a lot. Alam nyo po na yung pinagdaanan ko, pinag-isipan ko talaga. Pinag-isipan ko bago mag-upload. Kasi, um... Higante naman yung binangga ko eh. At inaamin ko yun. Pero, naramdaman ko talaga na ang nangyari was mom ko yun, dad ko yun, at winawalang hiya na masyado ang alaala nila. So, this was just Chris as a daughter. This was Chris reacting and Chris opening up her heart to all of you. Um, I cried. I, I really, really cried and I I am stopping myself from crying now because turo ng mom dapat, dapat never show them that they hurt you. But yes, I was hurt. I was hurt because narilive eh. Na, sorry, yung timing kasi nung ano na to, um, timing ng post was Kuya's birthday. And naalala ko lahat ng kasalanan ko sa mom ko. And lahat ng pinatawad ng mom ko. Lahat ng kabutihan na ginawa ng mom ko para sa akin. At lahat ng kabuuan ko because of who my mother was. And if there's one thing I got from my dad, it's courage. It's courage to be able to speak up for those who cannot speak. It's courage to be able to speak your truth and to say to say what you want to say but still be respectful and to not be afraid to go against giants. Ito, diretso po. Siguro may karapatan ako kasi ni minsan hindi ko binastos. Wala akong masamang nasabi tungkol sa administrasyong Duterte. In fact, Nabash po ako ng mga dilawa nung nag-post ako ng picture namin. At nung nagsabi ako, alam ko kung bakit siya nanalo. Hanggang ngayon, hindi po ako nakikisaw-saw sa politika. Pero yung ginawa po, at pinapangalanan ko siya ngayon, ang tagal kong talagang tiniis, na huwag siyang pangalanan, but now, um, pinapangalanan ko si Asek Moka Uson, na sobra ka na eh. Yung ginawa mo, um, ang mga sinaktan mo, mahal na mahal ko. And ganito na lang ah, kasi diretsahan na, babae sa babae. Gusto mo ng kaaway? Ako. I'm ready. Anytime, anywhere, harapan. Gusto mag-debate? Kerry. Gusto mong gawin natin yung eksena dun sa movie uh, that it escapes me now, the title, Four Weddings, something. Uh, uh, sorry, ito sa star cinema movie na si Angel Oxian. Gusto mong gawin natin yung eksena yun? Uh, Four Sisters and Wedding, I'm sorry. Yung ano, okay. Y you wanna do that scene with me? Y you want... Ako, you want na ako ikaw at... Ikaw si Angel, gawin natin para matigil ka na lang. Kasi, what you are doing to my parents, they do not deserve. Okay? And people will tell me, why are you stooping down to her level? I'm doing this because I love my mom. I love my dad. And if I don't do this now, I will hate myself. And if I don't do this now, I won't be the mother I want to be. Ginagawa ko to because I want my sons to see what I am willing to do for my mom and for my dad. Because when I'm no longer here, gustong gusto ko na si Bim, ipagtanggol ako. Dahil hindi perfecto buhay ko, inunahan ko po kayong lahat. Open book ang buhay ko. Nasa post ko. 
alam ko kung anong pinagdaanan ko, alam ko kung anong nakaraan ko. Pero alam ko rin na meron tayong mapagpatawad na Diyos. At alam ko kung ano na ako ngayon. At yun ang importante. What you make of yourself because of those mistakes. And if I, if I allow those mistakes and those lies about my parents to continue, I am not worthy to carry their name. So I just want to say, I am ready for you. And this is a direct challenge to you. Face me. Face me anywhere. Text me. You can find my number. Andale. Name the place. Name the location. Let's carry it live. Bring all your followers. I can stand alone. But stop it. Stop doing this to two people who have never hurt you. Hindi ka nila binastos. Dahil patay na sila. Hindi ka rin binastos ng kapatid ko. Pero labas siya sa usapan nito. Buhay siya kahit sa pagtanggo ng sarili niya. Pero hindi kaya ng nanay at tatay ko. Pero ako buhay na buhay. So ako, balahura din ako eh. Ganyan eh. Ganyan ang labanan eh. Kailangan ka talagang lumaban. I'm sorry na ganito ang nangyari sa, sa bayan natin. Na in order for you to be heard, you have to speak this language. In order for people to listen to you, you have to shove the truth in their faces. But the truth is, yes, my father is a hero. Yes, my father died for this country. Not this country, I'm sorry, nagkakamali ako na sa Japan, bako pa uwi pa lang ako. Pero, pinas lang ang tatay ko. At yung dalawang babaeng yun, nahalikan siya bago siya bumaba at bago siya na-assassinate. Hindi mo alam yung sakit na pinaramdam mo dun sa post na yun kasi naisip ko, sana nabigay yung karapatan na yun sa mom ko. My mom deserved that. Oh, come on, man. Eh? Because my mom gave her entire life to my dad. I will get a scolding from my mom if I cry now. That's why I am fighting the tears. My mom will say, Chrissy, this is the time that you do not cry. So I am doing everything in my power to not cry. But I am giving you fair warning. Isa pa. Isa pa na bastusin at babuhin mo ang tatay o ang nanay ko. Magtutups tayo. Ay, ahoy. Dahil lahat na siguro ng pinakamasakit, lahat na ng basura na pwedeng itapon, natapon na sa akin. Pero kinaya ko at wala akong tinago. Alam ng buong Pilipinas ang kwento ng buhay ko. Wala akong posisyon na hinahanap. I'm not running for office. I do not seek elective office. I am not scoring brownie points for this. In fact, by doing this now, there will be some businesses that might back out of contracts. I'm sorry, nasa banyo, ka, nasa banyo si Kuya. Sorry po. Then, ginawa ko to dahil I just had to do this because one, I had to say thank you. Thank you to those who believe. Thank you to those who still love my mom. Thank you to those who respect what my dad has given our country. It's just a girl, a, a simple daughter at this point. Tinatanggal ko po yung Chris Aquino na naging celebrity. Yung Chris Aquino sinasabi nilang number one influencer sa Philippines ngayon. Wala, hindi yan mahalaga eh. Anak ako. Anak ako at nanay ako. And I just want all of you to know 
I have been reading your comments. I have been reading the words of support. This is really not about me. This is about the legacy of two people I really love. This is about Ninoy Aquino and Corey Aquino. And this is about a woman who never knew them. But who continues na hindi tumitigil na bastusin ang pangalan ng mga magulang ko. Tama na. Girl, ako na lang. Kaya-kaya ko. Anytime, anywhere, say what you want about me. Say the harshest words you want. I can take it. But spare my parents. Hindi nila deserve ang kabastusan mo. Dahil binigay nila ang buhay nila para sa mga Pilipino. Naiintindihan ko na kailangan mong suportahan at depensahan ang boss mo. Pero sa paggawa ba nun, kailangan mong apakaapakan ang mga taong hindi naman sinasaktan ang boss mo. Kailangan ba na kailangan ba talagang damay mo'y patay na? Again, I just went live just to express to all of you I have read the comments. I cannot say thank you individually but from my heart I just want to say thank you because because you have not forgotten my mother because you respect my father Maraming maraming salamat po kasi hanggang ngayon pinaramdam ko sa akin. Mahal niyo si Ninoy Aquino at mahal na mahal niyo si Corey Aquino. For me, that's all that matters. I can wake up tomorrow and I can lose everything. Yung totoo, kaya kong ipagpalit talaga lahat. Huwag na lang bastusin talaga ang mga mandat ko. It just hurts so much because they gave so much. To all of you, again, thank you. Thank you from a daughter. A daughter who is saying that she has had enough. And a daughter who is saying, stop hurting people who never hurt you. Stop hurting people who cannot fight back for themselves. As I said, I will end this by saying, kung gusto mo ng kalaban, kung gusto mo ng punch ng bag, kung gusto mo ng taong sasampal-sampalin, kung gusto mo ng taong sasabunutan, dito ako. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I don't know if you're ready for me. But this is also, again, to all of you, to all of you, this is not about being yellow. This is not about anything else other than love for my mom and love for my dad. And love for our country. Huwag natin kalimutan yun. Mahalin natin ang bayan natin. Mahalin natin ang demokrasya natin. Let's love what we have. Let's love our freedom 
and let's have respect for each other. And let me be your voice for every person that has been stepped on. I have this platform. Allow me to speak for you. I, before I was anything else, I was Dinoy's daughter. And I will always be Cory's daughter. Tatapusin ko po ito by saying, Thank you for loving my parents. Thank you for the respect. And again, maraming maraming salamat. Galit na galit po ako, pero napansin niyo ni Minsan, hindi po ako nagmura. Hindi po ako pinalaki ng ganyan. Hindi po ako pinalaki para mang bastos. Pero kung pinabastos lang ako, God bless our country. Please, God bless us. God bless us with peace. God bless us with leaders we deserve. And God bless us with the courage, with the courage to speak up for people we love. Huwag niyong kalimutan kasi, di ba, ang pinaglalaban natin dito, lahat tayo, Lahat tayo, we are all human beings who deserve respect. And I am just fighting for respect. Mahal ko po kayo at nagpapasalamat ako sa pagmamahal na binibigay niyo sa akin. Good night. I'm sorry if I was emotional, but mom, I didn't cry. You'll be proud.